today we're going to try something different. I keep a photograph in which we want in love caught in your eyes waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care cause you were perfect I swear. This is a little project I've wanted to do for a long, long time. Um, and it's just taking pictures of interesting features in my area, my local area where I live. So this building here is literally 20 minutes away from where I live. It's an old abbey that was built in 1135 and it used to be a lot bigger, big much bigger but they knocked it down and just left this this fragment of the building remaining and when they knocked the last lot of it down they built a house and i think in 1535 i think they knocked that down as well nothing lasts forever except this little piece here this is lovely so i want to take this picture here when you look at this building it's you look at the chimney the detail on the chimney is absolutely fantastic you just don't get that detail anymore these days and it's a lovely day it's a windy day but it's nice and bright and i think it's fantastic weather for this sort of photography so i have given the the woodlands a bit of a rest this week but we'll be back don't worry anyway Let's take this picture. I've got the camera in, focused in. I'm at f8. Um, I've got it. We're, we're limited slightly because we've got the power lines, the telephone lines going above, and we've got a telephone pole there, and we've got this tree just creeping into the corner. So I'm gonna have to crop. There's a car coming past. Lovely. So I'm gonna have to crop the picture a little bit anyway. Um, but I want to give the house as much space as I can. Um, just as a footnote, you can, you can rent this now if you want to for a holiday home and legend has it, or local legend has it, it's haunted, it has its own ghost and you get that free in the rent, you do, yes, it's amazing. Anyway, let's take this picture, I'm focused in, F8, ah, let's go for it. I'm using the 70 to 200 because at this range it's just going to be the better lens to do it with and that's nice you can see the detail on that chimney there that's beautiful yeah I like that I like that we're going to move a little bit further up the road now so we can get the the front shot of it as well so you see even better detail Let's go and do it. That's quite a lovely country view. And a nice spring day, we've got the daffodils out, because guess what, we are now in spring. You can't beat it. Okay, I've now got this lined up at F11. It's gonna focus in. I'm gonna focus a little bit high, because I wanna focus full of light. If I just focus for the house, we're gonna get a blown out sky. <clears throat> so I'm gonna focus for the light, that way we get a nicer sky and uh, we, can, we, we can draw out all the details and the shadows later in processing if needed but I don't think it's going to be needed it's fine right focus that in f11 we'll take the shot and that's nice it's got some lovely countryside around it, I've got to say this is some beautiful detail 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm not used to all these cars flying around though, I've got to say. I do, I do like my woodland, it's a lot quieter. Right, I'm going to see if I can get closer to that. It is a beautiful morning. It's quite bright, but the sun keeps going behind the clouds. I think we are forecast rain later. But you know, it's lovely just to get out and hear the birds singing and everything else. But the next thing we're gonna to go to now, the next building, is in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, middle of nowhere, Bit of woods. You can't go wrong with a bit of woods. <laughs> so I believe, I believe this next place we're going to, I actually did a shoot there with a, with a lovely lady not so long ago in the summer. Uh, I think it's a Queen Anne summer house, but don't hold me to that, I'm not sure. But it's just beautiful it's just surrounded by just countryside it's in the middle of nowhere and you know what i think most local people i bet half of them don't even know it's here i bet they don't but i do and one of my many wonders i found it i'm just seeing the gates open because you can't, you can't go there all year round. It's closed at certain parts of the year. And it's open. Yes. And there you go. The house in the woods. Beautiful. That was a keeper's cottage many, many years ago. And once again, you can rent it out. I don't think someone's doing it now, there's a car outside, so yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. That's what we come for. I think that's the uh I think that's the summer house. And again, I think you can rent it out for your holiday home. It's such a beautiful area though. You've got graves in the garden. How nice. Don't break my heart with truth. We can defy, don't you see? So that is the building we've come to see today and photograph. It's the Queen Anne Summer House. I think there's a bit of mix up when it was actually built. It, it says on the stone, I think 1875 or something. 
but it's a discrepancy about that. But I'm not concerned. It's a lovely building in a lovely location. So we're going to take some pictures. What I want to try and do with this shot is just try and capture the house in some of its natural environment. So you guys and the viewers of the pictures can see that it's in the middle of nowhere, it's in the woodland. I'm on F10, I'm back in priority mode, aperture priority mode, and I've left my I've left my release button in the car, so I'm having to go on a timer again, but I'll put it down to a two second timer. Uh, so what I've got in this picture, I've got a house dead in, dead in front of me. There is a, a walkway path down here, grassy path, and we've got a couple of birches on one side and a pine tree on the other side. And there's a nice tree that just sort of curves inwards. I'll spin you around in a second so you can have a look. Um, and that just, I think, I think that just brings the house in the context of where it is. I'm going to take that one again. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to spin you around so you can have a look for yourself. That's more or less a shot. You can see the house in the centre. We've got the the grassy path coming this way, and then we've got the the birch on one side and the pines on the other. So that's the kind of image. I'm off on this one. Do you know what? I've quickly got to do this. I've got to do this shot and I'll explain in a second before the sun goes again. <clears throat> I'm going to focus in. I love these, these grassy walkways, pathways, when you've got the sun coming in from either side and that dappled light scenario. And it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Already. Ah, oh, what? I'm going to wait for the sun to come out again, then I'm going to take the shot, and then you're going to see it. I promise you, because I'm not moving from this spot until I've got that shot. I just love those shots. Right, here we come again. We're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. We're focused in. Two second timer. Dappled light. We've got it. Yes. Anyway, back to where we were before. 
the Queen Anne Summer House. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Now, the last place I'm going to photograph is right over there. It's a big house in the background with sheep outside. Lovely. Who doesn't want sheep in their garden? I'd love sheep in my garden. I could only fit half of one. That's a nice shot. That's Shuttlesworth House. Um, I think mainly now it's a college, an agricultural college. But we're going to take this shot. Right, I'm just going to take this shot. I'm in aperture priority mode again. I'm on F10. I'm maxed out at 200 millimeters. Would you believe that? I'm just going to focus in. And my batteries died. And guess where all my batteries are? In the car. Over there somewhere. Let that be a lesson to you. But I did get a test shot beforehand, so I'll put that one up for you now. Don't break my heart with truth. We can defy, don't you see how it's good? Don't break my heart. Well, due to lack of power, um, I guess that's going to be the end of the video really because I've got to walk back to the car now to replenish my batteries so it's a very important lesson there one I've um, just re-educated myself on that always have the batteries with you don't leave them in the car with your coffee and your chocolate bar I've not got my chocolate bar either but anyway it's a little bit different I seem to end up back in the woodlands in one sense um, but I've enjoyed just taking pictures of something else as well and getting out of the woodlands for just one, maybe two weeks. I've got something lined up for the following week as well, which is another surprise. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> you've made it this far. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. And I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.